from releasing potentially infected detainees. This is the type of crisis that occurs when we let people come into this country unchecked. The latest nuclear threat alert from the Pentagon. China is rapidly building its nuclear arsenal at breakneck speed with one primary target in sight. Microsoft says Chinese-controlled bots are attempting to influence voters on social media. Plus, research reveals an army of fake accounts. In one more country joining the standoff against the Chinese Communist Party in the South China Sea, Indonesia just drove a Chinese ship out of the waters there. How China responded. <laughs> <laughs> An elite immigrant has entered the U.S. and brought along a rare drug-resistant strain of tuberculosis. At least 200 oh. people who came into contact with this individual may have been exposed. That's according to an emergency lawsuit Louisiana's government and attorney general filed against federal officials, including Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, for not cooperating. Mm. This rare form of tuberculosis carries high mortality rates. This is a bacterium that is contagious. This particular patient has a very resistant strain of tuberculosis. It is the only case in Louisiana. The Chinese citizen crossed illegally into California through the southern border in July before being flown to Louisiana with 100 other detainees. Mm -hmm. They were then bussed to another facility with more detainees. The person was found to carry the virus during a health screening in Louisiana earlier this month. Patient Zero started in China and moved somewhere between China in the United States where there was an illegal border crossing. The state governor said U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, moved the unnamed Chinese national through different facilities in the state. This led to the spread of the contagious disease. The attorney general's office said immigration officers repeatedly ignored the state's request to keep anyone from being released until their medical status were cleared. The public should understand we have been saying this this is the type of crisis that occurs when we let the people come into this country created. check. The governor reassured Louisiana residents that they are not in any danger at the moment. Last year, the U.S. saw a huge increase <clears> in the number of Chinese immigrants entering the country illegally from Mexico. U.S. border officials arrested over 37,000 Chinese nationals at the southern border last year, 10 times more than one year earlier. The Pentagon's intelligence agency just published its 2024 nuclear challenges overview, and the report says China is undergoing the most rapid expansion and ambitious modernization of its nuclear forces in history. All that to compete with the U.S. The Pentagon estimates that China will have over 1,000 nuclear warheads by 2030. The U.S. currently owns 3,750 nuclear Thanks warheads, but most of China's warheads are designed with the capability of reaching the continental U.S., and they're developed by China's rocket force. The assessment says China's nuclear strategy is based on a first strike by others with counterstrikes if deterrence fails, but other ways of retaliation against an enemy's defense, economy, and its people. <clears throat> the report says China is rapidly developing its nuclear arsenals across land, sea, and air. Currently, China still lags behind the U.S. and Russia in the nuclear field, but the regime never declared what its end goal is for such a rapid expansion. Microsoft says Chinese-controlled bots are attempting to influence voters on social media. The tech company published research that reveals an army of fake accounts Wednesday. Microsoft said the bots have engaged in a coordinated interference effort in down-ballot races. Research found that the Chinese troll network has gone after Republican Congressman Barry Moore of Alabama, Michael McCall of Texas, and Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee. Microsoft said the group responsible oh, is known as Hydra Blood. It has previously been associated with the Chinese regime's Ministry of Public Security. 
The report said the lawmakers are being targeted because of their criticism of the Chinese Communist Party and of its policies. Republican Senator Marco Rubio of Florida has been targeted as well, but he is not up for re-election until 2028. <laughs> The world's largest computer chip maker is warning the U.S. of a potential violation with China. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company said there was a potential attempt by China's Huawei to dodge U.S. export controls. These controls prohibit the chip maker from producing AI chips for the Chinese company. The U.S. government said it established the restrictions to limit the Chinese regime's military capabilities. Huawei is a primary target of these restrictions, which shows the growing rivalry in the tech sector between Beijing and Washington. Now we turn to the South China Sea. Tensions are brewing between Beijing and Manila over waters in the South China Sea. And now another Indo-Pacific neighbor is joining the standoff. Let's take a look. <laughs> Indonesia took a Chinese Coast Guard vessel away for the second time in four days. This happened in disputed waters of the South China Sea, claimed by both countries. Indonesian authorities reported the Chinese vessel pushed an Indonesian ship conducting a seismic data survey on Thursday. And earlier this week, the crew of the Chinese ship insisted the area was under China's jurisdiction. China has issued global authority over Manila Island and the adjacent waters. China claims almost the entire South China Sea. Its claim overlap with the exclusive economic zones of several countries in the region. An exclusive economic zone is outside the country's territorial waters, but the country has the right to access the resources in that area. In 2016, an international court rejected China's claims. Reporting from Taiwan, Joy Chu, NTD News. The U.S. and 